Aye. Well, hold on. Look at the video. A lot of folks say it shouldn't warm up with a long club, but actually sometimes I think warming up with like a three wood gives you more tempo because it's a longer club. And, uh, you know, you get into your rhythm quicker. You know, swinging hard only you just swinging easy, so. Back swing, down swing. Blended turn. Just depends how you want to do it. That's a great three wood. I've had this out for years now. The uh, Cleveland Classic XL. Don't hear much about Cleveland clubs anymore. Probably because. Mr. Crossfield is the only person seemingly dealing with them on YouTube anyway. Five, four, three, two, one, senses working over your time. to this, it really is such an easy thing to repeat. By now you'll have watched the, the Prosner uh, video that we did. It really does show you that he really does uh, practice that move. And that is all he's doing. Backswing, downswing. And also, the Flammer video will drop to the time you see this. How to make one. Very useful. So obviously, because it keeps this angle, so if I grip here and I swing up, very clever. My costume was definitely ahead of his time. Why no companies taking the flower to market? I'm quite surprised, but I suppose at the end of the day, it's quite an easy thing to make, so I guess that might be. When again, you get somebody endorsing it, you know, a big name. thing you'll have seen uh, dropping on the videos, I shared it, uh, it was a really good one from Japan and uh, it's showing you all the top LPGA golfers and how they all get that wonderful arc trace with the club and then because they drop the club shallows and becomes rounded and elliptical through the ball so you get the flat um, clubs coming in flatter for a longer period of time through the ball. Uh, cracking video because it's going back to like the old uh, black and white shots. They used to do that. They showed you the elliptical path of the club, of course. We all look at that elliptical path and think that that club head is moving in a circle but you forget that there's so much vertical lift and vertical drop actually moving the club head. It's not a circle. Because a circular force is, if I was holding this towards you, circular force is that, which like I say, is great for a wedge and that. But it's absolutely no use for longer clubs. So your elliptical force is up and down which makes the, the path become, see how it becomes like a, an oval uh, elliptical shape. So, right, right. 
I mean, when you when you tell someone, oh, the backswing, downswing, you know, and the closer you can get the downswing to be there, obviously, your uh, movement of your body is so fast and, like I say, you know, uh, the vertical throw part has to match in with this part. Look how big that move is. It's enormous. And I haven't got the greatest flexibility. So this part has to be just as big to keep in time with that part. <laughs> but once you get it, it will set you free. Warm up any club you want. I'm just taking it easy with a free wood. I had this free wood off this, the deck. Put it off the tee. Uh, if I'm on the AstroTurf mats out in the course, the winter ones, you've got them at your club. The three wood off the deck, off the tee, because it comes off with such more kind of controlled, it runs out more, so you're better hitting it off the deck than you are actually hitting it off a tee. Although if it's downwind, you want to hit it off a tee. You want to go up in the air a bit. That's another thing you'll notice. And I do it because it's a bad, it's just natural to do it, but you get the waggle, because they all tell you you need a waggle to keep relaxed. The thing is, so your waggle should really technically be more. <laughs> but uh, at least you know that you're throwing your hands up here. And you can see, I've got a three wood. I can reach my limit there, but when I turn, that's quite a good position to be in. I could, if I was more flexible, warmed up, I might, in the summer when it's warmer, I might get further round, but like I say, if you've not got flexibility, you, you know, you can get, you get there, and you can still swing exactly the same. So it's great, and, you know, new clubs coming out all the time, but this club, it's a few years old, nothing wrong with it, but this is a three wood with 15.5 degree loft. Some would say that's quite a weak three wood, but again, uh, you've got to get the right balance between ease of use and uh, slotting it into your bag with how far you want it to go. I could crank or could buy a three wood that's 13.5 degrees but effectively I'm then not getting height to stop the ball because what you want is you want the ball going up on that rainbow arc and coming down at the end of its flight almost vertical because you want it to be stopping Whereas with a driver, you really want it to be going up to its arc and then possibly coming down a bit more shallower because it's going to run out more. Same with your irons and stuff. That's why power bats just give me the fear. Power bats just fill me full of, I ain't going to be able to stop this ball on a green because it's just going to, it's going to run out so, so much. Give me a classic swing. Anytime, anywhere. What was that? Anytime, anywhere. Martini Rosso. That was a rough drink. I didn't hear much about Martini Rosso's anymore. Bianco, that was a quality drink. That'd be if you're in Hawaii when fucking temperatures are warm and Warming up our three wood, but see if you've got a longer shaft. <laughs> oh, that's what she said. And uh, you're warming up with it. Your tempo 
containment really does get quick. Whereas if you start with short clubs, you can be a while getting that, baiting it in. Let's have a look at the weather today. Yeah, fingers crossed. It's uh, dry. There was so much rain fell yesterday. I've never seen anything like it. There's massive puddles out here. So, good news is we're on the winter greens, but they've actually been cut. So they might be might be quite fast. I tell you, if you can hit a winter green, right? I know folk moan about winter greens, but look at the size of a winter green. It's like, the size is, is tiny, right? You could fit about 20 winter greens in the, the average normal green. So if you can hit a winter green, you're like never more than four feet away from the pin, six feet tops. And then if you take that to when you go back on to the big greens, they're going to look enormous. So, you should be able to hit them, eh? Oh, the, the old jokes. Couldn't hit a barn door with a... Oh, it's really good. I just like the feel of it, eh? You get that. See where three you once you get one that you like. You just hold on to it. Must be the hardest club in the back to actually change, you know? Anyway, thanks for uh, watching, supporting the channel. All you new subscribers are all adding to the tally of uh, trying to get to a thousand because we want to give all the ad revenue away to Macmillan Cancer, Help the Heroes in Shelby UK. I think we probably are the only uh, YouTube channel attempting to do this. I've not heard anyone else trying it. It's certainly not very easy to. It's certainly not very easy to get to a thousand subscribers. Uh, so if you would like and share the video and try and get us to the magic number, three is the magic number, get it in, uh, then uh, it would help, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's all I can say about it, you know. It's, uh, it's been a struggle the last five years. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we do the same cheese. Um, sadly, you know, you'll have noticed this channel hasn't got a very good big budget or anything. So we don't get to places like Portugal or Spain or Turkey or somewhere warm to play golf. But uh, oh, or uh, Las Vegas. You know, Jamesy boy, you know, in the Las Vegas on the old Callaway bus. Two story, double thing. Pretty nice. Anywho's, we're wondering. Thanks for watching.